Welcome to The Know. I'm Ashley Jenkins, and the current Thailand government has banned the political simulation game Tropico 5. The game is distributed in the region by New Era Thailand, and marketing manager Nonglek Sahanar Vatanapong says the government fears some part of its content might affect peace and order in the country. Possibly, the concerns come on the heels of the country's latest military coup on May 22nd, in which General Pragus Chan Ocha's armed forces ousted the elected government and locked down against activists, journalists, and politicians. Unlucky timing for Tropico 5, which released on May 23rd, though it's had to go through a screening and approval process before it can be sold in the country. That didn't go so well. And Nunglak says the company has no plans to appeal the decision. Given the current political climate, I can't blame them. The game probably hits too close to home to stand a chance at a different decision. Tropico 5 is a political country management simulation game that puts you in the role of El Presidente, leader of an island nation. You're in charge of drafting a constitution and managing the country, and one of the options you have is to play it as a harsh military dictator. Nunglek acknowledges, actually, it's a good game with positive reviews. We've had licenses to distribute Tropico 3 and 4 before, but in the fifth installment, the storyline has developed further and there might be some part of it that's not appropriate in the current situation. Maybe Prius can have a chat with former Panama dictator Manuel Noriega, who's suing Activision over his depiction in Call of Duty, which you can learn more about by clicking here, and they can compare notes. That's all the news for now, but to make sure you're on top of all the biggest updates in video games and entertainment, click like and subscribe, and we'll keep you in the know.